Hi friends, we're going to learn about tape diagrams. A tape diagram is basically a tool we use to help us see repeated addition equations better. So it's going to look something like this. It looks like boxes um, and they call it, I think they call it tape because it kind of looks like a piece of tape um, and it's a diagram. So let's do an example. Here's a word problem. There are two apples in Jane's bag, three apples in Sam's bag, and one apple in Anne's bag. How many apples do the children have in all? So we could draw out the picture, which is one way to solve a problem. We're trying to get it so we can do it quicker and easier. Okay, so I'm going to show you a way where we draw a tape diagram. You draw boxes. We have three people. Um, one is Jane, Sam, and Anne. Okay, so Jane has two apples. Sam has three apples. And Anne has one apple. Notice how these are not equal groups. We need to get these so they're equal groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to move one of the apples and put it in Anne's from Sam's bag. So now we have two apples, two apples, and two apples. So you would put two apples in each box. There are still three groups. We didn't change the groups, but they are all equal. Now we have three groups of two. You've noticed that the boxes represent the groups and that the counters inside are numbers or amounts of apples in each group. Now, let's change our box to show the number instead of these counters. So I'm going to write the number two here. I'm going to write a number two here and a number two here. So what do we do when we know the parts and they're equal? We add them to find the whole. Write the repeated addition equation to find the total for this tape diagram. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is my repeated addition. So let's read this equation. 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals, and we can skip count by counting by twos, 2, 4, 6. Okay, 6 apples total. We are adding by twos. Okay. We're going to draw a tape diagram that has four parts. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to erase this. We want to draw a taped diagram that has four parts. One, two, three, four. There's four parts. Now use your counters to show two in the first group, three in the next group, five in the next group, and two in the last group. This shows um, four groups, but they're not equal. So we have to move the counters around to show equal groups. So how we do that is let's take one right here and let's add it to here. But we have to get rid of this one once we add it, okay? All right, so I have three here, three here, I have four here and two here. We'll have to take one and put one here. Again, you have to get rid of the one you just moved. Okay, so now we have three, they're all equal, the three groups. We have four equal groups of three. Say it with me. Four equal groups of three. So there's three dots in each box. It's all equal. Okay, so now I want you to remove the dots 
and let's put the three inside of the boxes. Three, three, and three. So we have four groups, four equal groups of three. Let's write a repeated addition equation for this. Three plus three plus three plus three. We can skip count or we can do doubles. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six. So what is six plus six? It's 12. So that means these, the answer is 12. Nice job. Okay, now let's try a little bit different. If we wanted to add this four groups of three, we can say three plus, oops, sorry. Okay, so we're going to go three plus this three. So three plus three equals six. So these equal six plus three equals nine plus three equals 12. So I'm each time I'm adding this three. So that's another way to kind of look at it. Okay. All right. And the last one, let's try one more. How would, how would a tape diagram change if, oh, sorry. So let's do four three groups of four, three groups of four. There we go. How would you change the tape diagram if there were three groups of four? Three groups of four. Draw a tape diagram that shows three groups of four. Yep, there are only three group, three boxes because there are three groups we can write four in each box. The repeated addition is four plus four plus four. So we can skip count or we can add the double. Four plus four, four, plus four is eight plus four more equals 12. Good. Hey friends, kiss your brain. Nice job. That is a tape diagram.